Hi guys, this is Black Prism, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make this old sort of vintage sounding synth. If you want the sound but you don't want to follow the tutorial, there will be the link to the preset in the description. Without further ado, let's hear a demonstration of the sound. Before we begin, I need to note that in this tutorial I will be creating a custom wavetable. And the process of making this wavetable is sort of random, so the sound won't sound the same every time. But if you want it to sound the same as in the demonstration, there will be a link to download the wavetable in the description. We are going to start by initializing the preset. For the first oscillator, we are going to create our own wavetable. So click on the wave editor button. Ok, so for the first wave, set the first harmonic to 100% and then add harmonics periodically like in a saw, but not all of them, just like little small patches of them. Now in the face section, right click and select randomize all. Now add another wave and remove all the harmonics and basically redo all the process five times. Now that you've done that, we're going to morph between the waves. So click on the morph and select the spectral option. And there we have our own wavetable. Set the unison to 7 voices and set the detune to 0.14. This is to make the sound thicker and it also adds some stereo to the sound. That's it for the first oscillator, now for the second oscillator. Go to the analog tab and choose analog BD sign. Set the wavetable position to 100% and set the warp mode to bend plus minus and set it to 88%. This is to add some higher harmonics to the sound. Also set the level of oscillator B to 60%. Now if you want, you can enable the sub oscillator. This is not a must, but it gives the sound more presence on the harmonic spectrum, thus making it sound bigger. Anyway, lower the pitch by 1 octave and set the level to 45%. Enable the filter and route oscillator B to it, and set the cutoff frequency to about 1100. Now for the amplitude envelope, Set the decay to 1.25 seconds and set the sustain to minus 5 dB. Ok, now take LFO1 and put it on the oscillator A wavetable position so it covers all of it. Put it also on oscillators B wavetable position and also on the oscillators B warp mode and set the rate to 4 bars. This is because it makes the changes so gradually it gives the sound a feeling of movement. Now take envelope 2 and put it on both oscillators fine tune. And adjust it so it barely makes any change, but it's still enough to be noticeable. Now remove the rate by BPM option and set the rate to 1.2 Hz. This is to give the sound sort of an analog, unclean feel. This is how it sounds so far. Now onto the effects section. This one is pretty loaded. Enable the distortion effect and leave the tube distortion. Make the filter to act in post and set the filter type to high pass. Now adjust the filter like this. Set the drive to 84% and set the mix to 38%. Now this is also not a must, but I think it gives it a really cool crisp in the high end and sort of a feel like it's played in vinyl. Enable the phaser effect and set the mix to 30%. This is to give even more movement to the sound, but you don't want it to be too noticeable. Enable the chorus effect and don't change anything. 
This is to make the sound even more thick and it also gives it really nice stereo. Enable the reverb effect and change the reverb type to whole. Change the size to 25%. Change the decay to 3.7 seconds. Change the low cut to 40%. the spin to 40% and also the spin depth to 40% and set the mix to 45%. I know this is a lot but it gives the sound some ambience and also the high spin values contributes to the eerie feeling of the sound. Also I have Maximus enabled to make the sound a little louder and also to do some stereo imaging. Let's hear the outcome. That's basically it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you find this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.